there are some whitening creams being uh, used by companies to you know whiten the vagina so are they nice or are they good or should we like yeah is that recommended or not for someone who wants that there are multiple things being endorsed you know creams and oils and you know gels there are no studies suggesting that this will give you 100% results or anything it's just that i mean i don't think it is necessary it yeah. it's yeah no i don't think it is recommended so that's what suggest is it necessary yeah. because hmm. a lot of uh, girls as you said before yeah they are being heavily questions. endorsed okay coming yeah. to since you've mentioned this you know women are also uh, affected by stretch marks in pregnancy on their abdomen yeah. they don't like it and they also have this uh pigmentation over their nos- nose and you know nasal bridge and cheek area yeah. and then they have acne all this is because of uh, you know hormonal surge so that that causes acne and if you already have an acne prone skin or a pigmentation prone skin it increases during pregnancy you are more pig- more prone to have pigmentation acne over your body over your face and all if you already have a uh, i mean a skin that is prone to acne and pigmentation so you don't have to uh, worry that much about it since we're talking about this let me tell you that uh, you uh, let me tell you something about skin care so please stick to your daily morning and night skin care routine use a cleanser that has salicylic acid as the content use a regular moisturizer and use your sunscreen every day even if you're at home in the night just cleanser and moisturizer is enough if you have been undergoing any laser treatments or you know any chemical peels or anything prior to pregnancy and then you found out that you're pregnant you can postpone all these treatments as long as your skin care is not an emergency if you you're undergoing something that is an emergency then consult your dermatologist before doing anything about it but if all these procedures these procedures can definitely wait and you will um, not believe it if i tell you there are certain deodorants deodorant using deodorant during pregnancy is also contraindicated because of certain chemicals that it has perfume is okay deodorant is not okay and uh, coming to facial creams okay if the acne is really bothering them uh, if they don't like it then they would want a topical treatment at least no don't use any tablets vitamin uh, vitamin a retinoids hydroquinone please check the content don't use anything by yourself please consult your dermatologist before going for it uh, salicylic acid less than 2% you can use that azelaic acid can be used uh, you can consult your dermatologist before using these things but it is pretty okay to have acne to have pigmentation to look this way you mm-hmm. can they will they will slowly come down they will slowly come down and you'll look like your pre you'll get your pre pregnant face back after the delivery it is it's fine also coming to stretch marks there are hundreds of you know creams and oils and these endorsements that people do that okay this is going to go if you use this <laughs> we have never seen 100% recovery it's just body fat that is stretching so there is no complete treatment no but if this is really bothering you then laser is the option like after delivery they can go for laser treatments that can you know or uh, they can reduce it they can uh, it can't re- it can't be reduced completely but to some extent it can thank you doctor so my aim of asking this question was to just uh, spread the message out there that uh, it should be your choice and not uh, come in the pressure mm-hmm. of the society thank you doctor for this